we are here inside of Illustrator and I have a nice vector graphic of a car just here. Yes, this file is small, but you can see if I zoom in, we have lots of nice sharp vector lines going on. Very nice. Let's jump over into After Effects. That Illustrator file I just showed you is here on my desktop. I'm going to drag that into the project panel. And I have a composition which I've prepared ahead of time. I'm just going to grab that Illustrator file and drag it into the comp like so. Now the file has come in very small, so let's scale this up. We shouldn't have any problems, right? Because we've got lots of nice vector content inside of that Illustrator file. So down here in the timeline panel, let's press S to bring up the scale tool. And let's change the scale from say 100 to 1000%. Now, this file looks like rubbish. What's going on? Well, down here in the timeline panel, the bottom left corner, I'm about to show you an option in a second, guys. If you don't see it, just turn on this button in the very bottom left corner. Now, the option I'm referring to, I'm going to zoom in here for you. It's this little guy just here, this little starburst icon just here. Now, this serves two purposes. The first one deals with collapse transformations. I have a whole other video you can check out if you're interested in that. And the second one is, if I hover over that again, let me just zoom out a little bit just here. You can see there, for vector content, which this one is, it will continuously rasterize. So what does that mean? Well, let me show you and then I'll explain properly. So all we need to do, guys, is activate that option, which I will do now, and check it out. This graphic now looks fantastic. So just to remind you, that option just there, when dealing with vector content, it's continuously rasterizing. So essentially, After Effects will scale something up and then having done so, it will re-render those pixels. So when you bring in vector content, guys, and you scale it up and it should look great and it doesn't, all you have to do is activate that little option just there to continuously rasterize your graphics. I hope that helps. Catch you later.